Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh, we are live in a very, well, I was going to say very beautiful, uh, a so so beautiful Boise, Idaho today. Yeah, pretty nice. Uh, if you like 19 degrees, but I am not complaining. Not complaining. <laughs> Especially for those of you up in the north, right? North, well, I'm north, but you get my point. <laughs> I am going to, let me arrange just a few things here. Please, when you come on, say hello to me so I know you're here. And also, if you wouldn't mind, let me know uh, if the audio is okay. I'm sure you'll tell me soon enough if you cannot hear me. But I think I can hear myself, so that's always a good sign. Hello, Leslie. Hi, Jean. Oh, gosh. The re give me the reports from uh, Australia and North Dakota. How are you ladies doing on this Thursday night slash Friday morning? Hope you're doing well. Okay, now my nose is itching. It wasn't, it wasn't itching before when I was just here by myself. But now that you're here with me, my nose is itching. <laughs> I sound great. Oh my gosh, I better, I better stop this and redo it. <laughs> Cindy, thank you so much. Hello, Lori. Everybody's coming in. Hello, ladies. Come on in. Take a seat. Let's do some stamp and chat and laugh. Hopefully some laugh. You know I'm going to be in here laughing to myself, so you may as well join with me. I have some really, oh, some new things that are just, oh, it was a breath of fresh air. It was really a breath of spring when I got these products. So I hope you guys feel the same way because Leslie, I know you're in the midst of your summer, which my brain just cannot, I can't wrap my brain around that. But the rest of us over here in Northern hemisphere are freezing it out. <laughs> you're wearing winter clothes in the middle of summer. Are you someone that's cold all the time? I wouldn't know anything about that. Like, no jokes. <laughs> I am rarely cold. I guess if it's super cold and it's windy, that is my kryptonite. So as you are coming on, you know the routine. Please say hello. If you are brand new here, please do the same. Please say hello. Please let us know you're new because myself and the rest of the crew here would love to say hi to you. So I am Lisa Harden. I'm coming to you live tonight from a very dark, and chilly, but always nice, Boise, Idaho. I love that you are gonna stamp with me tonight. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. One of the things that means is that I sell all of the products I'm gonna be using tonight and thousands more. <laughs> if you live in the United States and you enjoy watching me craft, then I would love to have you as a customer. I teach classes online and in person. I have a team of really fun demonstrators. And of course, here I am every Thursday night, unless I'm, well, every Thursday night is the plan, let's say that, unless life gets in the way. So, so glad to have you here tonight, whether you're on live or replay, whether you're watching me from Facebook or YouTube, hello, I see you and I would love to get a comment from you. So just keep it coming. And Sherry has shared already. Thank you so much, Sherry. You remind me to please ask you, kind viewer, if you are enjoying this video, please share it to your social media site. And uh, if you share, I will share. So every week after the Thursday night video, or if I have to move it a day or something after the video, or after the live, whatever we want to call it, uh, after I post it, I go in and I, um, if you leave a comment that you've shared and then you share, obviously, I will put you into a drawing for something fun. Tonight, I did not gather the names. It totally skipped my mind. You guys were so kind, though. I don't think I went live until Friday last week or maybe Sunday or something. I don't know. But there's still lots of shares over there. I appreciate it so much. Last week, we looked at the Avid swaps, and they were really fantastic. Blew me away. Gave me lots of inspiration. So I think you guys all like that. So again, tonight, if you share this, then you will be in next week's drawing. And I'm not quite sure what's in the treasure chest, but I may have to go shopping for the treasure chest soon. I really enjoy it. 
<laughs> one of the reasons or one of the ways that I can shop for the treasure chest is if you are going to shop with me and you're placing an order under $150, if you would be so kind to apply my host code, and it's okay if you can't find it or if you miss it or whatever, but if you do that, it helps me bring things such as the treasure chest of prizes to you. And I love to share with you guys and share back to you. So of course, if your order is $150 or more, well, right now I would highly um, suggest that you buy the starter kit instead of placing an order with me. Uh, join my team. Have fun. I will tell you all about that in a minute. But uh, if you are just placing a $150 order, please do not use my host code. You will get your own host rewards. Okay. And I want you to redeem those and enjoy them. Hello, everybody. Thank you for sharing, Andrea. And there's Mary Ellen already. She's in Montana. Mary Ellen, you didn't run off to California yet? I, I recommend it. Yes. Well, uh, I don't know. I guess it depends on what, on what area. Poor California has its issues too, doesn't it? Hello, Kathy Sheely. If I miss you, I apologize, but I usually catch your names uh, afterward. And um, so anyway, sometimes I'll be I'll be amazed that I didn't see somebody's comment. Like, I can't believe it. But I am going to do some crafting here. And so I will be looking away. I do not have any technical assistance. My technical assistants, Tango and Cash, are currently, I think, sleeping off a big dinner in the living room. <laughs> so they're no help. They're no help, but that's all right. Okay, so tonight I have for you, oh my gosh. One thing I have for you is this beautiful paper. I know you can't really see it. It's too close to the light. Look at it. It is called Hello Irresistible. Hello Irresistible. And it is really, I just got it a few hours ago. I ordered it yesterday, got it today. And I put it on two day shipping. So they were very nice to me. The company got it out. Andrea says, what is my favorite set from the new mini? Mm. Andrea, I wish I only had a few because that would have made my purchases a lot smaller. But let me think about that. I will, uh, This it's this one today, but this isn't in the mini, right? So let me think about it, Andrea. I'll try and give you like uh, two. <laughs> I'll try and narrow it down to two. Oh, it's cold today. Okay, so it is cold. Oh, Leslie, yeah, we have that kind of a swing sometimes. 103, thank you for putting it into Fahrenheit for me. 103 yesterday and now 68. That probably does make it feel cold. <laughs> Which set have I used the most? Okay, we will talk about that because the beautiful mini is so, it's in full swing, everyone. Let me grab mine and uh, make sure that you know that this is in full swing, the beautiful mini catalog. And let's not forget, oh, it's still a celebration. We have just about the full month of February left for you to shop from celebration. And we have some new celebration, uh, new celebration rewards dropped yesterday. <laughs> I sound like a child now. Don't I sound like a kid? Actually, they probably don't say that anymore now. But new celebration items dropped yesterday. And that means that you can purchase or you can earn rewards from this flyer or from another set of, I think, about like 11 items. I posted it on my email yesterday. If you're not already following my email, do so. I keep you in the know. Uh, just go to thestampingzoo.com. And a purple pop-up box will ask you if you want to sign up for the Zoo News. And, of course, you just say yes. Put in your information. And then you will know all about my classes. You will know about all Stampin' Up! News. Everything to do with paper crafting. Okay? Uh, somebody says, yeah, you can. Uh, I like this little takeoff conversation we're having. So Andrea had asked me what my favorite set is from the mini. And I... We'll get to that in a minute. But in the meantime, Jean said hers is on the farm bundle. I don't even have that, Jean. Can you believe it? Uh, so if you go ahead, if you have a favorite from the mini, go ahead and post it. I would love to hear your comments and see, see you know, if uh, people are swayed one way or another. I use the country floral bouquet a ton. 
because I used it for my catalog launch party. And so I really had time to use it and see like how versatile it was. Now I know the punch is sold out, but here's the deal. If there was a punch that was going to, well, it's on back order until April. If there was a punch that was going to go on back order, I'm glad it was the country bouquet punch because you can cut out those items really easily out of the paper. Okay. So I do not get the boho mini yet. You know what? I mean, I may get it if they offer it later, but I was like, I'm just fine with the, with the white, with the supplies I have, and I will have lots of product. All of us will have lots of product that is boho blue soon. So I did restrain myself that way. But if you don't have a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine yet, I'm going to tell you about a great way to get your own for more than half off. Okay, so let's take a look here. Let me take a quick look. Andrea, there's so many things I haven't even got, gotten to use yet. I love playing in the rain. I think that it's really has a nice all of what I want to say. It appeals to lots of people. I could see myself giving that card to men, women, and children. Okay. So I love playing in the rain. And uh, well, and then I just had the opportunity to use Sentimental Park and Petal Park a lot as well, because again, I'm doing a class with it. Lots of you know that the spring fling, it just closed. And um, man, I mean, it made me happy. All of the papers and everything in that, in that suite. And I think if you do not have this punch, even if you don't get anything else, I think you're going to want this punch, but then you need the stamp. No, you don't need the stamps that go with it. However, the little flowers are beautiful. They're two, it's two-step stamping. And so I think that's one that's not like super showy, but I think you'll have a lot of use for it. Oh, I love it. Kathy says she's loving sweet citrus. Andrea loves, well, she says the milk, the milkshake, share a milkshake. That one's so cute, isn't it? Here's what, here was the biggest surprise to me. I really liked fragrant flowers. And so that coordinated with favored flowers, the designer series paper that has the black background that you can earn for a $50 purchase. That one surprised me because I really love it. And I didn't think I would. I, I didn't think I would hate it. I just wasn't interested. I was like, okay, some more flowers. And then the paper, earning the paper, made me take a second look at it. And I was like, you know what? This is great. It has huge sentiments. And, you know, I worked with it a few weeks ago and um, you saw me emboss with it, those big, thick sentiments. So when I'm talking about videos that I've done in the past, you can find those on my site right here. And um, sorry, just falling in my chair there. So anyway, just if just know that if you miss a video one week or something, you can go back and look at all the videos I've done. You can probably find some really hilarious ones from early on. I think I've been doing the videos uh, maybe over four years now. So, you know, then I get new technology and then it just goes haywire. But we're here tonight, aren't we? <laughs> oh, yes, Lori. I know. I am so excited. Lori is, has joined into the Spring Fling. Several of you did. I was very happy with the signups. I'm so excited to cut. The product just came today. The Well, the final order of the product. I'm so excited to cut the, start cutting the product and the kits and everything. I can't wait. You're going to love it. It's going to be such a fun event. So let me show you just a couple of things here real quickly. And then we're going to get started with what's new. And what is, I'm going to tell you all about this um, online exclusives, right? So let's take a look at some slides. Let's have a slideshow. <laughs> it's a good slideshow. It's okay. So we are featuring tonight, I am featuring the online exclusives. Stampin' Up! has decided that they are going to release a series of exclusive products during this year. You will not find them in any catalog. You will find them online right here with me, with other demonstrators and just on the Stampin' Up! website. If you are a customer pre or right now, you will not, if you log in, you will not be able 
to order these. So why in the world am I showing them? Well, I'm showing them because you can add them to a starter kit tonight. And I'm going to tell you about the great starter kit deal that's going on right now. But you can add them to a starter kit. So I really want you to be aware of them. Also, customers will be able to order them in March, so I wanted to get started as soon as possible with them. And also, my team that watches me sometimes, I'm not saying they always watch me. They would say they always watch me, but if my team catches this, I want them to know that they can order these things tonight, too. So, we, And you can earn celebration rewards on them. So it's just a great way to get the word out, and there will be more things coming. And I didn't buy everything that was available tonight. And I think that in March, even some extra things will be released, dropped. So uh, it's just something fun to watch, right? It's probably um, it's probably just some new exciting stuff. If this is if what I purchased is any um, indication, I may have to get a third job. <laughs> <laughs> Might be in trouble, but I'll be so happy. So that's what we're talking about tonight. So it's online exclusives. And then, as I said, the spring clean has closed for the kits, etc. Thank you so much to those of you who signed up. I'm promising you that I'm going to work my hardest. I've been working my hardest on it, but I'm going to work my hardest to make sure you really uh, feel the love, okay, and have an excellent time. As always, when I throw a class, have a class, a retreat, it's always in the back of my mind to make you feel special because you are and to make you think that you got a good deal, right? So uh, we're planning lots of fun things. You know, Suzanne's involved with this too. And I will mention that the PDF is still available. Anybody can purchase that. It will be a PDF of 14 projects. It is $20 US. Suzanne is selling it too. So if you live in well, I guess if you live anywhere, you can order it from me, but you can also order it from Suzanne Nets. She lives in Canada. It's a lovely demonstrator there, has, is becoming a friend of mine, which I love. So uh, anyway, I'm really just so happy to work with her again. She, This is her baby. She thought of this, and I, I happily went along with it, okay? So just know that if you would like to order the PDF, it's going to be have color pictures and great instructions, right? So you can still join in the fun that way. And that's not going to expire. You can order that from me at any time. Just send me an email. Or uh, you can also, again, if you receive my emails, you already have the link to sign up for, for all the options. But uh, anyway, you should probably just let me know because I think the event has actually closed. So links, apps. I don't know. I'm certainly not an expert. <laughs> Something else that came out yesterday. I have a couple of them right behind me. Remind me to show, but to, let's look at them at the end of the class. End of the class. Yeah, it's the class. So it's the Wreath of Blooms kit. Oh, I can't wait to make this kit. It's for, it's for me. Okay. And I'm, and I bought another one because I want to give it as a gift because I think it's going to like beautiful as you can tell so it's only $13 I'm not kidding it's only $13 US and there's the item number if you would like to order it this is available to everyone right now so you can earn celebration rewards while you're shopping for the brand new kit and nearly any of our kits are winners okay so if you're gonna pop over there and look at the kits um, take a time to look, take time to look at everything kits are online only as well all right, and then the zoo crew. The zoo crew is my team of lovely people. I love my my team so much. They're so fun. They're they're all different, and people have come and some have gone on my team, and they come back to me as customers. So, um, becoming a team member of mine is not something that that you have to commit to for life. Okay, I would like you to. That would be fun. But here's what's going on is right now, it's such a great time to sign up for the starter kit. That's what, that's what, um, that's your entrance fee to belonging to my team. Okay. Again, if you live in the United States, you can join my team and everybody has a place on my team. I have no prerequisites except maybe that you um, like to have a good time. 
Okay. So here's what Stampin' Up! offers us. They say, as a little thank you during celebration, they are going to let you choose the mini Stampin' Cut and Boss machine plus, plus, okay, your choice of $175 of product. It can be any product. You can order $175 worth of glue if you want. I do not recommend that. That's not very exciting. You can order the products I'm going to show you tonight as well as anything on the clearance rack or anything in any of the catalogs, okay? They will give you all of that for $129 plus tax, free shipping. You get a free paper pumpkin kit. You get free business supplies. You get a box of catalogs. And here's the deal. You don't have to have any customers besides yourself. The vast majority of people who sign up uh, for the starter kit, just enjoy it themselves. They're their only customer. And that's okay. It. I encourage it. I encourage you to do whatever you want to with your starter kit. Okay? So the second choice, well, I should say, the first choice is you can have it in white. Or, as Andrea mentioned earlier, you can get it um, in boho blue. Yes, Andrea, I did get the online exclusives. Most of it, I'm getting, that's what we're going to play with tonight. And so your second choice, let's say you already have a Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, the regular one and the mini one, and you don't want another one. Uh, you can still purchase $175 of product for only $99. Okay, so it's an excellent deal. It's an extra $50 over the normal starter kit special. Plus you can purchase that uh, mini die cutting machine, which really works on probably 85% of the dies we have. So it's very versatile. It's a great way to start and um, learn how to die cut and, and really get comfortable with it. You do not earn celebration rewards on your starter kit, okay? Because it's the, it's the celebration starter kit. It can't get any better than that. However, once you're a demonstrator, you can turn right around the next day if you want, and you can start ordering with a 20% discount. <laughs> what? Did I forget to mention that? Oh, yes. You get everything then at at least a 20% discount as long as you remain active. But the one thing is you can shop until the end of June, maybe into July, um, if you sign up this month and you don't have any minimum. So this is it. It can't get really, it can't get any better. And it's not any more difficult than just what I've told you. If you are interested in speaking with me about it, of course, not right now, but you can always call me at 208-830-6328. would love to speak with you. And also um, you can find, if you just like, I want to sign up, you can find the link over on the stampingzoo.com and just hit the tab at the top that says join my team. Okay, I would love to have you. But this deal is only good through the end of February. Okay, and remember February is the short one. So if you want to sign up, why not do it tonight and then start the savings? That's my professional opinion. <laughs> and right here is a picture of the boho blue. It is a new in color. It will be a new in color for us with the new annual catalog. But you can start enjoying it right now. Again, for only $30. The normal price of that is $63. Okay. And also during celebration, I like to reward my customers too. And one of the ways I do that is by offering you a celebration celebration. It's a bit of a party and a class all in one. So if you purchase $150 of product with me during January and or February, it doesn't have to be in one order. It can be in 10 orders if you want or all one big order. So as long as you purchase $150 of product for me, you are going to get an invitation to this party and I will be providing you with a copy of, or your own set of the Adorable Owls stamp set. As you see here, I've made this cute little bright card. And um, I just want you to know that so that if you are planning to purchase that level of product with me, then don't 
um, don't waste your celebration choice on the adorable owls stamp set because again you'll be receiving them for me they're right back there just waiting for you okay and if i need to buy more i will so i hope that entices you a little bit and uh get you thinking about all the fun things you can do with this love of paper crafting that we have okay so speaking of let's bring in the desk and I certainly hope that, uh, oops, no, I, I bring myself in. I don't know. So um, again, let me know if any audio goes haywire on us. But let's take a look. Let's start by looking at this paper. I have not looked at all this paper. We are going to make some cards with this paper. So I know, right? This is the first sheet. <laughs> I don't know. Can it get better than this? Thank you for sharing. I love it, ladies. Thank you so much. Oh, Andrea says she loves the owls and she made all of her Valentine's using it. Good idea. Hello, Anne, and thank you for sharing. Anne just made a beautiful card. Anne has been stuck on the favored flowers herself. So she's somebody else that can attest to the fact that, I don't know, Anne, did you like that? Did you like that stamp set immediately or? Did you have to get the celebration paper first? And then you thought, oh, I think there's something to that. Okay, so four six by six sheets of each. We'll just go through this and um, look at it. Oh, is that right? Oh, okay. Looks the same. Something new. So let's see here. This is pretty. We've got Daffodil Delight and. Um, Flirty Flamingo. Let me read the colors to you. And why don't you give me a thumbs up if something sounds strange. Okay. Let me read the colors to you. So this, again, this paper is called Hello Irresistible. Available to customers marked first. Available in the starter kit tonight or to demonstrators tonight. Uh, the colors are Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Lost Lagoon, Petal Pink, Pretty Peacock, I can't even say it without smiling, and Soft Sea Foam. What? Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock? Oh, I don't know. Jean says, hopefully it's coming back. Well, you know, there is always a time that uh, we, Stampin' Up! will have a color refresh to the main 50 or 40 colors. Yeah, 40 colors. We do have a refresh every five years or so. It's probably been about five years. And I'm not, I'm not being coy. I don't know if we're going to have um, a color refresh. But if we do, bring it back. Bring Pretty Peacock back. I was so sad to see it go. And I don't keep a bunch of retired product to work with myself because I don't have the time. Um, and so, and I'm not going to show you something that you're going to fall in love with and then uh, that I can't, you know, offer to you. But I would love to work with Pretty Peacock again. And from this, from the looks of it, uh, from what I remember here, I think Lost Lagoon looks great too. So look at these. There's like kind of the more, uh, this definitely follows a stamp in the stamp set. And um, yeah, it's very possible, Kathy Sheely. Well, it's in this paper. Now, um, I don't know. Are they just teasing us? Did they, they could just be part of the online exclusives, right? Because this is the first online exclusive that we, that we have to look at. So we don't know. I like having a surprise. This one's beautiful. It's soft sea foam. I just, I love soft sea foam with pretty peacock. I just, I mean, these papers will show you that. This is a very light pattern, but beautiful, right? Now look at this. I really like this one. That looks great. And then, no, that's not right. And so this pattern, this kind of string with the circles on it is uh, a die cut. 
So we're going to cut that out tonight and see what it looks like. So see, they've got these lots of like linear patterns on them, but then definitely the vines, all this leafery. Leafery, is that a word? I don't know. It should be if it's not. I really like this one too. Beautiful. And oops. And then so you can see what they're doing. They're either splattering on the back, just blending or um, bringing in a really light linear pattern. Beautiful. I'm going to have so much fun. I'm going to have so much fun. It is beautiful paper, isn't it, Kathy? Kathy says she loves pretty peacock too. Yes. You don't have anything lost lagoon. I don't either, I, but I don't have anything pretty peacock either. Unless sometimes I keep a little bit of cardstock if I have just a little bit of extra. Now look, here's the stamp set. And the thing that appeals to me the most with this is this is going to be beautiful with heat embossing. Mm, I can't wait. I hope we have time to do some of that tonight. I think we will. And then finally, look at the dies. My other favorite thing. I have only like a million favorite things, but uh, when it comes to paper crafting. So look at these dies. This is a single die that I think is, it looks like cuts those pieces out, but they're connected because the lines kind of cross. See that? We're going to cut that out for sure. And that looks like a, the design on a lot of the paper. And then this one, now this one I know cuts, it's like leaves the negative. So it cuts a circle out of the paper, but it doesn't cut a uh, separate circle that comes, that's a separate piece of paper like this. It'll make sense when I cut it out of paper. Okay. <laughs> and then, like I said, all these really cool leaves, but they're different, right? Like, look what they've done here. So, um, and this is a cling stamp set. Let's just look at them. I did have time to put them together. Thank goodness. Uh, I did not make any, I cut some cardstock and that was really it. So let's see here. Let's use Night of Navy because you can see it really well on the camera even though I've got to move everything back because Night of Navy is such a strong color. I swear it jumps out of the ink pad and onto my hand. That is very pretty. I like it a lot. Let me see. Let me bring some cardstock in here. I, I have plenty. Let me get just some white. Oh, could I have gotten a smaller piece? Okay. Well, I think we're just going to have to create something. Look at this thing I picked up. Like, don't use too much now. Running out of paper. Isn't that neat? Look at that. It's very cool. You'll be able to color it if you want. Ink blend it. Again, heat embossing was going to be outrageous. And uh, so that's going to be really pretty. And then let's take a look at let me get this chamois out filthy with this night of navy and then oh there's a splatter see that was on all of the paper the paper is really mimicking the imagery in this stamp set isn't it how fun okay and then this thing this beautiful flower looks like a fully opened camellia or it could be anything can be anything you want. And then this one, oh, how fun. I can think of so many techniques to do on that, but look at those big bold lines, beautiful. We are going to definitely heat emboss that. And let's take a look at one of the sentiments because they're also beautiful. Uh, as always, there's a gorgeous mix of fonts and I like you. Thank you. I couldn't be happier to have you as my friend. I love that. Hello. Perfect. Sometimes if I want to keep an all occasion cards around, I will just put hello on them. You know, hooray. It's your day. Nice. Okay. This, I need the other block. I need a different block. 
Okay, and let's do this one then. Let's see what it looks like on this big piece of cardstock I've given myself. Boy. How nice. I really like that. So look at that. The imagery and the the sentiments. I really think it's a fresh look. Yes, it's flowers, right? It's a fresh look of flowers. It's a fresh look at sentiments. I don't know how they keep doing this, but I can't wait to make a card with you tonight. Okay, and the last thing, no, not the last thing I was going to say. I bought a couple other things. One thing is there's this really cool set, and I think it's called Embossing Basics, Basic Embossing Folders, and it's just that, right? So look at this one, and I haven't looked at these yet. I just see the cross hatching. Again, the paper picked up on that pattern. Oh, this is nice. And so this is on Flirty Flamingo, okay? Really nice. I like that a lot. So these are meant to go with everything. They're basics. And then this is soft seed foam. That's really cool. This could be a starfish or this could be um, the stars in the United States flag. I mean, it could be anything. It could just be a pattern in the background, of course. And then let's take a look at the um, petal pink. This one's just like, oh, it's some really cool dots. But look how pronounced they are. I'm surprised that went through the paper and didn't crack it, but nope, our paper is quality. And then look at the other side. The debossed side is really cool too. Yeah, okay, let's look at the other. Oh, the debossed size of, side of that is really neat. You always have to look at both. Let's look at this one. Oh, that's, that's interesting. It's not as strong for sure, but it would be fun. Okay, so there's the embossing folders. They are 3D embossing folders. They were $30 US together. And I mean, who can't use a new set of three embossing folders? You see a golf ball on the, yes! Right, Brene, and hello, by the way. And um, Roz says it looks like candy dots. Uh-huh, I can see that for sure. I see both of those things. So just something else fun. And then if you take your blending brushes and work over any of these or um, put your put your ink, your stamping pads, run those on the inside like we did a couple of weeks ago, uh, you will get all sorts of use out of these. You knew, I knew you would like that. What are you talking about? Or are you talking to me? You might be talking to Brene or something. Oh, Elizabeth. I bet you're talking to Elizabeth. And hello, Elizabeth. I hope you're doing well. Yeah. Elizabeth and I, we think the same. We're like, pretty peacock. She's coming back. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know. I would have gotten dressed up. <laughs> and then, oh, we have to have the jewelry, don't we? These are the loose frosted dots. They're stunning. Oh my gosh. Look at them. More uh pretty peacock daffodil delight and i think flirty flamingo yeah those it's pretty bright look at them you guys oh i love them so much so they are loose um it looks like a glue dot will definitely fit at least on the large ones but i'll put some on tonight with a little bit of glue and give you whatever helpful hints i can there's a ton of them in here they're choking hazard, by the way, so keep these out of your mouth. Doing what I can. <laughs> uh, what does it say? 360. <laughs> Somebody needs to get her eyes checked. No, they're fine. Don't be crazy. So 360. I think you can find, you can put a few cards together with that. Okay. Let's, the first idea I had, of course, um, was I want to make a shaker card and I'm not going to use those loose. I'm not going to use the loose frosted dots because that's, I just, I need to save them for just like one night, but we do have some beautiful sequins for everything. And let's see 
before I get too crazy on this, let's see if these sequins, any of these sequins will match with our paper. So I think no already on that. The pink might work. The pink might work the best. So this, if you didn't know this, you can buy this trio. It's in the annual catalog. Another thing that I like, you know, when Andrea asks, what's my favorite? It's like, really? Can you pick a favorite child? Because, so look at these. You get three of these and they are, again, they're green, pink, and blue. And they go with several of our color combinations and they're all stacked up. I think they're $15 US, but there's a ton in there. Okay, so let's take a look at this paper and see what we can see. Immediately, I think that might go. But then if I cut the middle out of it, I can't see those beautiful, those beautiful flowers. Oh, well, well. I have other things I can use a shaker too, but see how all this is like just gonna jump right off of that soft sea foam. Even that combo works for me. Oh, that's a neat, that's so neat. I like that blended combination. Very pretty. I need something with a little pink in it. Oh, I can tell you right now that you'll be able to die cut these flowers out of the paper. Look at that. They never miss a trick. It might take me a minute to get the shape, but so you'll be able to die cut these flowers out of the paper. There's two sizes, just like the stamps. This is like really tightly coordinated, isn't it? It's really perfect. Let me take a look this way. See what I can see here. Oh, so pretty. Kind of like in this. Okay. This is kind of a neat combo. We'll make a birthday card because I love that birthday sentiment. Or we'll just make the friend card. I'm sorry, because I like the friend sentiment. And then these, of course, look perfect tone on tone. Those would be really pretty. You can cut most of the leaves. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Kathy. We can cut most of the leaves from the paper as well. This stuff is very um, tightly coordinated. I like that. Oh, maybe this. No, I don't think those sequins will go with this. This would look cool, though. Not that I want to bring a bunch of different things in, but I don't want to use the multicolored. I want to keep it a little more limited than that. Okay, I'm liking this. Let's use that. And let's make sure that this, I don't know the diameter of this. Yeah, of course, it fits on our card. It's probably, Leslie, let me get the Tim Holtz ruler out. Contraband in the house. It is three and one, two, three eighths inch, three and three eighths inch. Okay. So it'll definitely fit on, um, it'll fit on this book binding card we're doing, which I will show you in a minute. Let me just um, score and burnish it. And then the name will make a lot more sense, won't it? So book binding. One of the easiest fun folds ever, but one of the, I think one of the best because you can change your um, card front really into a square and that gives you a lot of options and it makes things look a lot different, right? Somebody was asking, yes, there you go, Corinne. Available March 1st to customers or Corinne, available tonight. Do you want to get a starter kit, Corinne? Do you want to join the Stamping Zoo crew, Corinne? Because I would love that. And so for $99, you can have this stuff tonight, plus a ton of other stuff. Okay, so now we have on here, we are going to glue this piece together. And then we have this 
flat part that's going to open and it is four and a quarter by four and a quarter okay four and a quarter square so i'm going to take this oh where am i going my paper trimmer is right on my desk it's very odd for it to be there normally it's in my desk okay so i guess you don't need to see me cutting the paper but if you have any questions please ask so we're gonna do uh let's see let me just cut this separately. I'll get confused when I'm chattering away. Let me do four by four, okay? And then right here. And then this over here is one and a half. No, one and a quarter. So let me get a one inch strip. So this is gonna be one by four, okay? And then that. It's going to go right there. Oh, so cute. I love it. And then we need a piece of window sheet. I hate it. I need to change the uh, my notifications. I've already shut like all the bells and whistles off of my computer, all that I can. But then I get these email notifications and it's like, I don't need to know every time I get a crappy email, unless it's from Stampin' Up, I don't really care. I'll get to it when I get to it. So these are window sheets. They come in big 12 by 12 sheets. Of course you can purchase them from my beautiful website. There's a shop now tab. Did I mention that? I probably have, but there's a shop now tab. It's so easy. Oh, well good, Leslie. I am glad to show it to you. Okay, so a little bit of window sheet and remember i told you that that circle is three three eighths at its at its diameter so let me do uh three and three quarters square i want a little overage but i don't want so much that it gets in the way of the other components of our card okay all right so three and three eighths, three and three quarters. And then I'm going to take another piece of soft seafoam. It doesn't have to be soft seafoam, I guess. It could have been petal pink, but I've already committed. And all these colors go together, so it's fine. Okay, so now we're going to use, let's see, what size do I want this? What size can I get away with? Three and three quarters. Let's do, let's try this at three and three quarters too. I wanna to show a little bit of that paper back behind it. So why not? And then if we need to trim the window sheet, no big, okay? So as you can tell, we are gonna cut the center out of this, okay? All right. Now, what else do I need? How about an insert? How about an insert of, well, we'll just do white for now. I don't wanna to get too crazy. Too late. So what's everybody else been working with? We have so many beautiful products right now. I mean, and very little, I mean, very little has gone on back order, at least here in the Northern and uh, North American market. So let me know what's going on with you. Oh, three and three quarters. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. It's, this is going to be kind of a little, a little card in the middle, but I'll give it to somebody. I don't have a lot to write to, right? Somebody I see all the time. So then they can be like, Hey, new card set, new stamp set for you. Here you go. Okay, I am going to just take this over, just swivel right over there, and I am gonna run this through the die cutting machine. I do use post-it tape to hold this down um, because we wanna make sure it stays centered, actually. Let me flip that over so the cut side is down, and then I will cut it out and we will be able to see exactly what we're dealing with here. 
I think it's going to be even prettier than I predict. It definitely comes out really easily. It's like, oh my gosh, you don't want to see it. Look away. It's so beautiful. Nice, Kathy. Kathy's been doing Valentine's for her littles. I love it. Look at this. All right, that's it. I'm in love. You need to have it. You need this. <laughs> I mean, it's a cool design. Look at that. Look at that. So much movement right around there. And now I'm going to try and put this window sheet on it. See, we're going to make this the front of our, of our shaker card. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do it. It looks like it's cut fine. So uh, in this case... I did good. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use a little bit of seal. I really like seal and not so plus. Um, also, I don't want to use a bunch of glue. This is a delicate shape, as well as knowing that uh, when I'm gluing cardstock to window sheet, window sheet is non porous, right? So that is not it's just gives me a lot better chance of having the glue squish out and i do want to get it in the corners a little bit here i want this to i don't want this to lift up off of the window sheet i just want it to look like one solid piece i definitely need my little tricky thing of I have a million things out here. Do you guys see this too? Like you just keep bringing all the stuff out. <laughs> Carla, get in here. What are you doing? You're late. You're late for a very important date. But we're making a shaker card with brand new online exclusive product. Okay, so I'm going to lay my window sheet down in the um, binding of the Stamparatus. And then I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put this right in the binding of the Stamparatus too. And then that way, because there's no border, right? I didn't leave myself any border. But that way I get them lined up properly. Okay. Now, I think we can start some construction. All right. So let's, while we have the seal out, let's go ahead and, oh. I mean, that's pretty too, right? It's kind of more split. Now that we have this, now, now we have this like this, we can really see. Oh gosh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh, but that's pretty too. Ah, which do you guys like, the flowers or the crosshatch? Tell me. And I will... Well, let's see. I can't do anything until you tell me that. So I'm watching for a couple of, wow is right, Lori. I'm with you. What did I do with those? Flowers. Yeah, the string likes the flowers. It, this is, you know it's good paper when it's hard to choose, right? I mean, it's just hard to choose. Crosshatch for shaker. Crosshatch. I'll take one more. Well, it's going to be, I'll take two more. But I think we're going to stick with the crosshatch, which is fine. There's no losers. Oh, we have flowers and crosshatch. Okay, crosshatch one. Just by one, though. <laughs> okay, we're going to stick with the crosshatch. And let's put that down with, oh, bye-bye, flowers. It's okay because you get four sheets of each design, right? So you can use two one way and two the other way if you want to. All right, so I do have a quarter of an inch. I left myself a quarter inch border. You can hardly see after working on spreadsheets all day. Story of my life. Story of my life. Let me see if this helps. I think that helps. <laughs> so these are my glasses. 
They're computer glasses, but they're my prescription. But they aren't bifocals. They're only my close-up part. Anyway, they look crazy, right? I kind of like them. All right. So, okay. All right. I can see now. Let me see if I've... I can't believe I even put that window sheet together. I mean, brilliant. Oh, they call me um, cool under pressure. Not. I'm not. Jean says she thinks the cross hatch just because it's a shaker. Sometimes you just feel it, right? Sometimes you're like, I don't know why, but I just like that pattern. Okay, and now I need, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I... For a minute, I almost freaked out. I thought I was going to have to stand up and get these. And I'm wearing pajama pants. <laughs> and they're like, they're kind of these colors, but kind of not. Okay, they're not coordinated like Stampin' Up! products. I just grabbed them because they were comfortable. <laughs> okay, so these are the foam strips. You know we have so many cool adhesives. And this is one of them. Oh, I kind of lucked out there. I left enough room. So I'm going to go around this a couple, uh, first of all, I'm going around it like this because I want to make sure that the perimeter stays lifted up. But then I'm going to go in and I'm going to make a closer, a little bit closer area around the circle. And I will explain that momentarily. Okay. So I just, just trim it right where it is. And then that makes a little, like a little reservoir, right? For your, whatever you're going to put in your shaker. But then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a little bit of this and put it at the four diagonal points. Here's why I'm doing that because I don't want my shaker, when my shaker is at rest, I don't want the sequins to fall down in these corners because my recipient can't see them down there. They can only see them and they're up. And technically I don't, I just have to do the two that are at the bottom, right? Gravity. But I will go ahead because I have this little extra piece and I will put that in there. And so as you can tell, these foam strips, they're bendable. They are, you can squish them into spots. They are fabulous. And they are twice the height of our dimensionals. Okay, so if you are mixing and matching them on the construction of a card, just remember that if you're using uh, if you're using these and dimensionals at the same time, they are twice the height of the dimensional. Jean says she just changed from her day pajamas into our night pajamas <laughs> you thought it was cold you were cold so you didn't think anybody would be stopping by well you never know the night is young jean <laughs> okay so now i need to settle on the sequins or which shakers let me see if i have anything else i really don't want to part with my loose flowers but i should because like they match the sentiment we have these though. <laughs> They're so cute too. Aren't these cute? It'd be really pretty. It'd be totally pretty. Okay, let me see that pink again. Let me see the pink again. I do really just want like one color. Yeah, I think the pink. I think the pink's gonna win out. Okay. Leave it for another day. Another day, friends. Okay, so then at this point, you can make, we have different constructions for different kinds of shaker cards. This is what I would call the classic shaker card, okay? So now I'm going to take some of these and put them in the center of where I'm going to have the card. That's a lot, but this is kind of a large shaker area, shaker window, I guess. You don't want so many, there's no scientific way to tell you you don't want so many that they don't move and you don't want so few it looks chintzy and looks and you can't really see them when you are when the cards at rest okay 
That's all I can tell you. You just have to make some and then and then you'll get the feel. But then of course the die cut window is always a different size. Better quit jimmying around there. Settle down, Lisa. Settle. <laughs> okay. So then uh, it's very handy to have the take your pick when you're getting the backing paper off of all of these. So much easier. And then you don't, I mean, this little piece of window sheet uh, and die cut is a little bit delicate, especially in this case where it has all of those really fine lines. And so you don't want to manhandle it if you can help it because you really don't want to mess up with what you've just created. Well, none of us has ever have ever done that before. No. Come on now. Okay. Now I have to do kind of the hover, the hover technique. Okay. So I gave myself a little bit of a border, right? This is, this was four, I think, and this is four and this is three and three quarters. Anyway, there's a little bit of a border. So I need to be right where you are. I'm going to do my best. Um, but I need to bring this towards me. And then I'm going to take a look and a little bit of the pink and yellow paper is going to be showing through, right? And it's okay if it's not exactly right, but it'd be fun if it was. Okay. Now, once I get it there, you can still kind of lift it up if you needed to. But again, this thing is so delicate. I think I did the perfect amount. No, I don't know. Oh, yes. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, my gosh. And so let's do the rest of it. I'm in love with it already. The pink was a good choice. Okay. So now let's bring in some of our pretty imagery from that stamp set. Hopefully I won't cover the whole shaker with it, but I might because it's so beautiful. Now, I really, I just love this. I think I just want to bring a strip of this, a strip in for this sentiment. Let me see it. Like down here. And I would be really happy to give that away. All right. Now, big decision. What color? the yellow or the pink, I think we'd better just stamp both and see what happens. Let me see, what, what size of a strip do I need here? Oh, thanks, Lori. Lori, you're so kind. You know what, I have told you this before, but I love spending Thursday nights with you guys. I really do. You become friends. And even if you've never been on here before, then you're my new friend, right? And this is so much fun for me. And I just hope that like being a demonstrator, the whole thing is so much fun for me. So I hope it comes through the internet here for you because I hope you're having fun too, right? We can all just get together in our day pajamas, in our night pajamas, whatever you're wearing is fine. <laughs> okay, let's try my gosh i haven't even had daffodil don't know that's all so so saffron i haven't even had i thought one of the children were right behind me and they might be i haven't even had daffodil delight out for months probably not pretty peacocky or um flirty flamingo either I've got pretty peacock on the brain we all do, don't we? That's pretty cute. It's very light though. There we go. I wanted you guys to see it. I mean, it's cute. Uh, okay, so let's try the pink. So how many of you that had access to uh, the demonstrator website, Purchase this or are going to purchase this. Now, Roz says she ordered it, and so she'll be getting it soon. What about the rest of you? 
Yeah, you're right, Brene. That is my definite. That well, not when I'm with you, but that is my uniform a lot of times. It's actually my uniform when I work from home, like my day job too. I love it. But I have found out that I should probably, oh, you guys, the pink, it stands out a little bit more. I'll let you choose because they're both really great. So I'll let you choose. What Which do you like, pink or yellow? Put it in the comments. And I, in the meantime, I'm going to stamp this pink over so it's not crickety crickety. And we'll see what you guys choose. Did I do better? Oh, I did better. Good job, Lisa. You can stamp in a straight line. I've only been working on that for 30 years. What do we got here? We got yellow. We got flirty. We flirty, flirty. Pink. Okay. Now, Kathy Strang says she got it on her order today. She wasn't going to order more flowers. Oh, God. Famous last words. <laughs> no more flowers. I have enough flower stamps said no one ever because these aren't like any of your other flower stamps they're different right when i emboss this next one when i emboss those flowers you're going to be like uh what's the order number i'm sorry i want to sign up for your team <laughs> which i would love okay i am just going to cut this on the bias i would use a fancy punch but again I'd have to stand up and go get it. So we're not doing that. Mary Ellen says she's going to order the whole thing. Woman after my own heart. I did. I skipped a few things. I skipped. There is an alphabet stamp set. All capitals. Capital letters. And then there is. Um, oh, some other paper that's really pretty. That I just was like, you can have it, but not right now. So. Like I was appeasing the child in me. You can have the paper. Just let's hold off. I'm busy, right? I'm putting together a retreat. But this is one of the benefits is ordering first early. I love it. And so I thoroughly enjoy that. Okay, now I'm going to put that on there too. But Cassie, what are you doing? Are you dancing around? Is it eight o'clock? That's so weird. How'd that happen? Let me look, my lovelies, at my ribbon choices. I think I'm out of seam binding ribbon, which is kind of bad. We can make that any color, right? What else do I have up my sleeve? We might go without ribbon, and that would be okay, too. Let's just do it without. Lots of times, though, you can thread ribbon in through this part. But since I'm not going to do that, I am going to just go ahead. And I'm going to slowly put some Seal Plus on it. I like to use Seal Plus on the movable parts of fun fold cards. This is brand new, and so sometimes you have to get it going with your hand. There we go. And light. Give it the light touch. If you don't, it might rip your cardstock. And then this is, there's no wrong way to do it, right? You just put it down. And that's the book binding part of your book binding card. Okay, so finally, let's stamp something on the inside too. Cassie Poo, what are you doing back there? He's running around. He does not like to just lay around. I mean, he's he's more active, like at night and stuff. He, I call it making the bed, but he really goes in there and unmakes the bed. He just jumped in there right now. So I'm sure I'll hear him digging around in there. And um, so he's, you know, just out and about exploring. And I think Tango is probably sleeping in his one of their roly-poly beds. You know, they're like really furry and I actually got them off of Amazon and I was afraid they were going to be junky, but they're really nice. So good for them. Oh. I mean, that's just beautiful. Just beautiful. This is for the inside. So cute. 
Okay, so let's put that in there. And then we'll put the sentiment on the front and we'll add a couple more sequins. And this is gonna be the cutest little friend card you ever did see. So it's leaves, but it's different, isn't it? It's very cool. Ross says, hi, Cashy. <laughs> oh, geez, look at that. Okay, so which side was it? I think it's this side, but pretty close. Pretty close, Lisa. All right, I think I'm going to easily do that one too. Sometimes I'm heavy handed. Now you could put it here, that would be fun, but we're not gonna do that. Uh, I don't know why. You could, but we're not going to. Okay, so let's just do it because I envision it here. So that's where it's gonna be. I couldn't be happier to have you as my friend. Who does not wanna get that on a card? I mean, it's gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of the glue. If you are heavy handed, do not do it this way. Use the ultra fine glue tip pen or something else, okay? A glue dot or use your silicone mat. Um, I am, as a human, a bit of a bull in a china shop, but for some reason, I guess through repetitive training, I have learned to be a little more careful with my glue. <laughs> Mary Ellen's going to get the whole thing. She's going for it. All right, let's put these in here because I only want certain ones, right? I want the little iridescent ones. They're gorgeous. Oh, and they happen to just fit over those little circles. That's what I was hoping for. It's the little things that give me joy. And it's all just a bunch of little things. That's life. Well, that's not true, but I'd be perfectly happy with just a string of little nice things happening. Like, let's just stop with all this craziness. Okay. And so then, again, just taking the putty end of my take your pick tool. Let's see, did I put any more on? I think I, <laughs> somebody needs to take her glasses off and take a look. I got them all. Oh, let's do one more. Let's do one more down on the bottom because that just kind of like looks like it's missing for some reason. Thank you for sharing, Casey, and hello. I'm sure you were off doing, I don't know, you're so busy, but I'm so glad to have you here. Casey is a rocking and rolling lady. The volunteer, she makes tons of cards. Oh, look at this. Okay, I'm going to try to bring this up here so you can see. So you have the shaker, right? You have the sequence on the inside, and then your recipient's going to be like, But wait, I think there's sequence. Oh, I just took one off. I was afraid of that. You should give it more than more time than I gave it to before you start shaking around, but. I mean, you're here right now, right? Okay, I'm in love with it. It's super cute. The die cut, the paper, all of it is really fun. Okay, let me put this away. We're gonna make another card. We have time. I mean, we have time, girls. It's Thursday night and maybe boys if you're here, okay? Girls and boys, I have a man that comes to my classes regularly. He does come here with his girlfriend. But um, he's very much, he knows his own style. He has great technique. And I think he works on the paper pumpkins at home too, because we were talking about them. And I think he was selling them to a couple of my other stampers. So he can come to class anytime. Very nice individual. So yeah, if there's any men watching me, hello. It's all right. I'm sure that some of you are very curious as to what all this paper crafting business is, right? Okay, let's do this. Let's stamp. Oh, that's novel. That's as far as I've gotten in my ideas. 
let's use embossing and let's use one of those emboss let's use heat embossing and dry embossing okay yes it sounds good to me let me put this window sheet away though or i'll never find it um i will get into my designer series paper and be gone forever oh my goodness okay so i have a lot of other fun things coming up for you guys and we're not going to talk about all of them tonight because i don't want to bombard you scare you and run you away but my mind is always going lovely crafters i'm like i love the paper i can't stop touching the paper it's so beautiful okay so we're not going to use soft sea foam because we already used that petal pink and flirty flamingo this it's really i know we use the crosshatch though so maybe i shouldn't use that and oh i'm totally missing this sherry has a new great grandson and his name is holden i like that of course i like catcher in the rye i'm sure most of you do too or lots of you like it so um congrats i hope mom baby family are all doing well that's really neat see the things you learn here i mean it's just fun isn't it okay let's do this on this okay and then let's bring in well we might let me see that color chart again see i need help with the colors daffodil delight flirty flamingo you know what i want to do i want to do petal pink i just decided petal pink this is going to be the card base and then let's heat emboss the flowers and maybe one or two of the leaves in gold and then make a little vignette <laughs> i crack myself up if you didn't notice i mean i know that nobody thinks i'm nearly as funny as i do as i think i am but um that's okay because i really know i'm hilarious <laughs> okay and i guess let's do it on petal pink let's make this a t another tonal type card okay so whoops i knew as soon as i put that away i was gonna want to use it i already know that i want to use it because i want to trim down that embossed piece and right now i'm going to score my card no don't cut it get the right blade i realize we're leaning towards the pinks but it's just what I, it's the supplies i had out right and then let's do another three and three quarters by five so that we have a little border of just plain and then we have all these like beautiful little polka dots and then finally i think i'm at the point where i can emboss other embossing you know what i mean Okay, so this is going to be what our card looks like. I'm in love with it already. Look at that. There's something really cool about these dots, and I haven't quite figured out what it is. I guess it's just the size of them. They're very neat. Okay, so again, that is a package of three, the three embossing folders, $30. And... Okay, embossing is going to commence right now. Gold, got it. Oh, we also need Versamark. Versamark. We also need tweezers. Tweezers, check. We are going to need the heat tool, but... Um, I know. I guess it's because the dots are huge. You're right, Kathleen. They're so cool, aren't they? Okay, first things first. Use the embossing buddy or anti-static tool. I think now it's called the anti-static tool because the embossing buddy is probably sold by, I don't know, Embossing Buddy Incorporated. But whatever you're going to call it, use it. Okay? This is all part of these things this and then a brush are all part of the 
embossing essentials kit. <laughs> it's in the, um, it carried over, so it's not in a catalog. Just look it up. Just put embossing in and it will come up, okay? Hello, Elizabeth, how are you doing? I'm so happy to have you here. Okay, so let's stamp a couple of these flowers after you have laid down your anti-static powder then you can start stamping and i'm just going to in the interest of time remove these real quickly and then i'm going to stamp one large flower i should not be inking that right over my project because if i drop the ink it's all over okay can you see those? Yeah, there we go. So you're leaving like a watermark of slow drying ink. This is ink and it is going to be gorgeous because we're going to cover it with a bunch of gold embossing powder. Let's do this and let's do another one. Whoa, this card's going to look like Vegas, baby. Okay, and if I had more time or if I was making more time with this right now, um, I would do probably a combination of stamped images and heat embossed images, but let's just see what we get, right? Sometimes it's fun to just like put all the bling on there. Neutrals? What neutrals? I'm sorry. This is Lisa Harden at the Stamping Zoo. You're confusing me with someone else. Oh yes, they're pretty already and they haven't even been heated up. So you can see those leaves have the solid, you know, they have a lot of powder on them. We are gonna die cut these, but I do still think that I need to use a little bit of the paintbrush or I need to use it a little bit, I should say. I'll be using all of the paintbrush a little bit. This is how I like to do this. And then I have, I know the tweezers are worth the whole kit. The, the kit's like a bonus and the tweezers are what you're buying. So they're this great set of reverse tweezers, but then they have this like, the shape is just perfect. So it's perfect. Trust me. Okay. So let's see here. Let me put these back in. I shouldn't be fussing around with this right now. Again, I'm messing around. I'm tempting fate. Just leave that, Lisa. Because those haven't been heat embossed yet. Okay, we need the heat tool. Thank you for sharing, Elizabeth. Thank you for sharing, my friend. Okay, so I'm going to hold on. Well, I'm going to hold on to them with this in a minute, but I already forgot that I wanted to use a paintbrush. This is a brush that I've had for years. This is not the brush that comes with your kit, but something similar, okay? So I'm just going to brush the embossing powder that is held on outside of the lines, but close to the images because we're going to die cut these out. So like that doesn't matter if it sticks there, it's fine. But that's why you use the anti-static powder. Otherwise you have a lot more sticking because the paper is absorbing all the oils from our hands and other products we have around and things. Okay. So the heat tool, rub it up to two. And then I just use my wrist as the indicator. And when it's uncomfortable, when I pick it up, and start embossing. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this or not, but I hope you can't. That would be good. So then I move in little circles. I like to apply the heat directly on the top of the paper. Some people like to do it underneath the paper. I think it's just what you learned and what, what you like or change, change methods and see if you like one way better than the other, okay? All right, so here we go. We're getting some shine and shimmer. Beautiful, just like I thought it would be. 
Oh my gosh. So pretty. We're going to come over to the next one. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. You're going to be in love. In love when I show you this. I think I like the leaf even more than the flowers. Is that possible? Because it's such a solid piece of it. One fall leaf is shiny. Oh, you guys, this is so fun. I'm in love. Every card I have for the next week is going to have like nothing but all this beautiful shine on it. I think I actually over, look, I think I actually overdid it right here. It started to go dull, but that's okay because um, I'll just cover it with some other flower. That's good. Um, you can't hear the heating tool because of the way I have the microphone set up. So it's kind of a plus, isn't it? Because that's the thing that I always hated about running the heating tool when I was working with you guys is that it takes over. One thing I was thinking of as I was doing that is we have our new mini blending brushes. Pack of three, I think is like 1150. And then we have the regular size. Oh, no, that's not a regular size. Then the regular size. Okay, so this is what they look like. They're both the same construction, though, which is like these super soft bristles. Going to give you just like a very smooth application of ink. This is a brand new one. Super exciting. Let's see what it looks like. Yep, that looks good. So I'm just going to do the center of the flowers. And you can do that. You can get away with that because this is just such a smaller brush head, right? And I don't want to use the dauber because I want it to be a lot more gradual. The dauber has a way of leaving an imprint, a spongy imprint. <laughs> oh, yes. This is beautiful. So you can put centers right into your flowers again with this. And I don't really have this brush loaded. You know, when they're brand new, when the brushes are brand new, I think they don't work as well as when they've already been loaded with ink. So um, don't rub, as I was rubbing on that, I was reminding myself, don't rub too harshly on the embossing powder. When you don't want to apply too much pressure to it, you've just done all this work to get that raised ink. But then look at these. See, they're starting to like, take on a little more life. They're not just a flat piece of paper. And that was super simple. Okay, so the mini blending brushes, please keep those in mind. Those are good. What's not good? It's all good. Okay, let me, again, I'm going to use this just to be safer than not. Okay, and I'm going to put that down here. And I can also cut out a small and a large. Okay. It is so pretty. It's all these little details add up, especially to a card maker, but I think to everyone, like everyone's going to look at your card and be like, even my friends who don't make cards, they look at them and they kind of like start to dissect them. I'm like, oh, Look at this little whatever. I don't know. I don't have a specific example, but now these, it looks like these flowers at least fit really tight. Okay. So you're not going to have a lot of play. They're also very random. I like them because they're realistic, but it takes a minute to figure out how to put them on. Did I get it? Is it backwards? And I just don't realize it. I think it might be. Yes, it was. Okay. So again, real close. Okay. Hope I don't cut over that embossing. Okay. Running this through with a regular sandwich for die cutting. And then I almost dropped them on the floor. 
realized that I didn't. But I'm not getting caught either. Okay. Oh, you guys, they're so pretty. I'm not going to show them to you until I cut them all out. I'm going to make you wait. They're so pretty. You're going to lose it. Anybody else is in your house, they're going to ask you, like, why are you screaming? You'll be like, I'm just watching a car be made, that's all. It's just a really pretty one. Okay. Embossing was the right way to go on this. So cool. Okay, and then one more. Don't get in a hurry now, Lisa. Okay. Okay, so look at them. <gasps> Aren't they beautiful? Oh, they're so pretty. That was simple. You watched me. I'm no magician. And you could even color the leaves too if you wanted. But again, uh, you know, I was thinking we're going to keep this very tonal, very one color or two colors maybe. And then that's it. No magic. Just regular die cutting, a little bit of ink blending, your heat embossing. You just do these little steps, and then all of a sudden, you have these elements that are really quite stunning. Okay, let's take a look at them on this card. Let's see. Just if I'm just going to like kind of group them like we normally would, I'll do two or three. I kind of like, let me see. I'm only going to use one of the little ones. It's really not one that's better than the other, but I would have to like go like this. And then I might want to have like a couple of the flowers here and here or here. Yes. Okay. See how this is shaping up? And then this one can go on the inside. That's really fun, I think, when you decorate the inside with something so cute. And uh, that really catches people's attention. So I want to bring this up a little bit more into the um, this card layer of the polka dot. And then I'm going to tie a bow of some sort. I'm hiding that part. Again, I burned it slightly. I over embossed it, right? So. I might want to put the leaf down there, but I'm also going to, I am going to grab some ribbon this time. This is where our different color might come in. Although I do have some pretty gold ribbon. That's white. Oh, let's see. Oh, oh, I saw sea foam, but that is our last card, not this card. Of course, I want to use that seam binding ribbon. <laughs> if I find it, if I find it when I get off here, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> well, I have to stick with the gold. You know what? This is fine right here. This is beautiful. So I'm going to use this. It is the gold uh, bordered ribbon, maybe satin edged ribbon. Yeah, so there we go. So I'm gonna use this. Let me tie a bow and see see what we can work out with our configuration here. Hello, Laura from Michigan. You are super late. You are going to have to watch this replay because if you're just tuning in, we are playing with the online exclusives that just went live to demonstrators yesterday. So please keep in mind, don't be mad at me if I'm showing this too early, first of all. 
I'm a demonstrator, so I can order early and I'm excited to order early, but also you can order early too. Just join my team and you can put this in your starter kit. And you know, I usually get the starter kits out pretty quick. <laughs> so you wouldn't have to wait too long, I don't think. That's not a guarantee, but, and then you really start the fun. Uh, I do have a team meeting every month where we do make and takes and we talk about stamping up stuff so you don't miss anything. And we talk about stamping zoo stuff. And, um, you know, I do special, little special things for my team because just like I like to spoil my customers, I like to spoil my team too. It's just one more opportunity for me to have some fun like that. So, and I really love the ladies on my team. They're really nice and fun. Okay, that's going to look really pretty, isn't it, Jill? Jill likes this. She, no, she loves, loves, loves this ribbon. So um, I'm in good company then because Jill makes cards that are like out of this world. Beautiful. If you ever get one of Jill's cards, just consider yourself super lucky. Okay, now I want to see this. Okay, now we're going to start to like actually put this stuff together. What I want to say, adhere things. I'm going to go ahead and pop this, um, this polka dotted layer up on dimensionals because why not? It's already sky high with all these um, little polka dots, big polka dots. So let's do it. Deborah says she loves this. Thank you, Deborah. See, I mean, who wouldn't like hanging out with you guys every Thursday? I mean, get real. I was so sad when I couldn't come live last Thursday. What was wrong with me? Oh, another health thing. Oh, well. Another day. Another health thing. But that's all right. Because you know what? I'm here tonight. Okay. So, again, I'm just going to. And this, all this stuff doesn't have to be centered. And lots of times it's not centered on my designs. But tonight it is. Oh, yeah. That's a good. That's a tactile thing. That's a good feeling embossing folder you guys are all gonna do that when you get it you are i know you okay so i'm gonna and again now i know like i'm gonna bring these in a little bit because i want room for this bow and i almost think they should be like there that's what i like okay so i am going to I'm going to glue this. I'm going to use liquid glue. Again, so much texture going on with those um, polka dots. But I'm not going to go out to the edges, okay? Just kind of leaving the inside. That will be plenty in a minute or two. A little pressure, okay? And then again, I'm going to leave the outside plain so that none of this gets on the outside of the card or outside of the flower okay that works and then let's again let's do a little insert for this while those are drying because I really I would leave it plain but for one thing I like card liners I really like liners uh, it's just one more way to make it extra special, and it's another layer that you can stamp on. But the other thing is, in this particular case, we have that flower that we've just spent a little bit of time on making so pretty. So I want it to pop out from the background. So again, keep it, you know, that's going to be fine if it's not, you know, glued down within, within an inch of its life. Do we want it at the top? No, it, it looks it looks upside down, doesn't it? But I'm gonna put it over here. Okay. And then this over here. So we'll work back and forth here as these things are drying. Now I'm gonna use some glue dots. Again, all of this is in the catalogs. Um, or if you just want to go over again, go over to the stampingzoo.com. You will see the electronic 
copies of the catalogs over on the right hand side. So always where I have them for you. Okay. So since we didn't glue this within an inch of its life, now we can start to have fun with this leafery. I think that's a good word. I'm going to leave this one and I'm going to put that bow on because it's going to take the most room and then wherever wherever I think I need that those two little leaves uh, is where I'm gonna put it wherever our little design looks like it might need it okay I like the size of this bow and I don't yeah I like that it's kind of like up here on the side okay this is the ribbon that Jill loves 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 okay keep that in mind and then finally, I don't even know. We'll try it out. Oh, well, I really like it up there. Uh, I hate to be so balancey balancey, but I really kind of like that. Look what we made, you guys. I couldn't have done it without you. And I didn't have it in mind. Just kind of letting the stuff inspire me, right? Those polka dots, they just kept calling my name. And then finally, look at this. Oh my gosh, we're not finished. Don't worry, we're not finished. We still have some loose flourishes to add. We are going to use some on this. And we are going to stamp the sentiment on the inside of this card, I believe. Unless we just use the hello or something. I don't want to add anything else to the front. I like you. It's a little open-ended, isn't it? Okay, um, I'm gonna use the hello inside. And then I can go on from there or I can just be like, hello, love Lisa. <laughs> I mean, really, let me see if this is going to look dark enough. This is petal pink ink, right? So we're gonna see if it will coordinate. I mean, if it will show up. Uh, enough. I know it will coordinate. Oh, yes, it's super cute. Okay. Not shocking. Flaring a card makes it a stunning card. I think you're right. You've got it. Okay, then a little bit of seal here. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun, you guys. I'm so glad you're here with me. It would have still been fun, but it wouldn't have been as much fun. Right? <laughs> okay, and then finally, let's get those loose flourishes. We're using them. What have I done with them? They went on walkabout. They went over to Leslie's house. No, they couldn't have gone that far because I was like, keep them. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I was going to say, I was keeping my eye on these to make sure that I knew where they were. Famous last words. Okay, so we've come a long way from just trying this out. Right here, you can see it just stamped. Nothing wrong with this. Make a simple card with just using that, or you can take it clear to this, okay? Where you make these beautiful flowers, or you can take it to this, where you make this really cool shaker with some um, sequins that you might already have, right? So, lots of options. Lots and lots of options. Okay, again, these are loose. So you either need to choose glue dots or, oh, hold it. This is not petal pink. This is flirty flamingo. That's not going to work. Mm -mm. Sorry. Those are beautiful and we are going to use them, but we're not using them tonight. <laughs> Change my mind. It's my prerogative. I can do what I want to do. I have these matte, okay, so we have those, I mean, we have tons of things in gold, right? Or we even have some things in petal pink. Where are those? I'm thinking of something in particular. We have butterflies, that would be gorgeous. I use the butterflies a lot with my florals, so keep those in mind. They are called brushed brass butterflies. Why? I don't know, because it's very confusing to say. Um, usually it comes out as a big 
mumble thing. But um, now I have to look at every single embellishment I have. Hello, Alicia. Alicia, you should be checking in here for quite some time. <laughs> Alicia is nursing a broken foot for lack of specifics. She's nursing a broken foot. Okay. So, okay. So we have the black or hello. We have the gold dots sequins. I'm running out of words. Words are hard tonight. Oh my gosh. Stop. We're using these. So these are petal pink and they are called elegant faceted gems. Who's had those out lately? They're in the annual catalog, right? And the coolest thing is they come in a package of petal pink, clear, and white. And they're all kind of different shapes, too. So, petal pink, stop at the presses. I could put about 20 on here. Look at all those. <laughs> because when I'm working on certain projects, sometimes I'll use like all the clear, all the white. Well, let's see. Just keep it. I definitely don't want it to be. Um, like three right around the flowers, but why don't I keep it like this? Kind of in the same line. My gosh, look at what I made. I love it. It's quite pretty. Let me clear the decks. Well, I've had fun with you guys tonight. Now, listen, I, like I said, I did not do the drawing tonight. I think I'm going to save it for tomorrow. You guys, it's too late, but, um, please forgive me. And I will be on sometime tomorrow night after work. And, uh, I will be giving away something from the treasure chest. And this is for sharing the video from last week that ha was about the avid level swaps. It wasn't on Thursday. I think it was on Saturday or Sunday. So you still have time to share it, okay? So here's the first card we made. We kind of capitalized on just one piece of that beautiful designer series paper. You can definitely see the pattern in there, the crosshatch, and then one of these cool sentiments. And again, that stamp is really neat. This is a die cut, right? So this is what I was explaining to you, that it left the negative. So it didn't make a standalone circle. It made this. Yes. And finally, we have this pretty, pretty just says hello, because what else are you going to say? What's well, something so cute? But of course, you have all the other sentiments, right? And this is one of the embossing folders. And there's a lot to look at here. It's just it fits right in with the existing supplies you have. Or you can use all new if you want. Okay, everyone, I thank you so much for watching me tonight. I've had an excellent time with you, as always, and I hope you have too. If you have any questions for me, please know that, as I said, you can call me on the phone. You can text me. You can email me. You can private message me on Facebook. Just ask away. You can also post your questions here. If you have questions about joining my team, um, don't necessarily post them here because I might not see it. So do one of those other methods I just told you. But if you're asking about uh, the cards I made tonight specifically, please just post your questions here because I do go through the comments. For one thing, I'm looking uh, for your comments of sharing the video because then I'm going to put you into the drawing for next week. Okay, so everybody, you still have time to share if you haven't shared this video yet. And uh, if you would like to, I so appreciate that. You help the Stamping Zoo in lots of different ways. One is by maybe being my customer, uh, maybe buying some product, maybe you come to class, maybe you're just here every Thursday night cheering me on. But in any case, whatever it is, I appreciate you so much. So whether you're watching live or replay, just know that, okay? Thank you from the bottom of my paper crafting heart. And I'll bring more to you next week. Don't worry. Oh, and I'll probably jump on this weekend and show you how to make one of those wreaths because I want it soon. I want it hanging up. Okay, everyone, have a great night. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.